Is it like at the beginning of the? I'll find it. Uh, no. If you go to the end, I'm deeper in. I'm further in. Oh! Dang! What'd you do? I almost got blown up by a creeper. What's up, everybody? It's Broken Bones here, and welcome back to another episode here on the Crusty Craft server. Today is episode 29. Yes, it is. And today, we're starting things out in the air. Because today, we're going to be trying to build a mob farm up in the air. And that's going to be going right over my guardian farm that we have right here. And that's going to be uh, quite an interesting project because last episode we engineered the whole thing. So this episode we need to actually gather the resources for it. So right now we have a list of resources that we need to actually get. I haven't done that part yet. So let's go ahead and go over to my creative world and see this thing. So to build this thing, we're going to need a load of melons, a lot of slime, a lot of redstone resources, uh, <laughs> observers, sticky pistons, slime, even sea lanterns, magma blocks, rails, torches. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. Also for the storage area, it's going to be like this. We're going to be building 10 of these uh, shulker box loading stations. So that means that we're going to need a load of shulker boxes, a lot of chests, a lot of hoppers, a lot of other redstone resources, plus some more blue glass and all these iron blocks we're going to be using prismarine for. And all the iron blocks up there we're using smooth stone for. So here we are back at the base. And here we got a bunch of stuff that I was able to gather up last night. We got all of our packed ice, slime, and uh, some redstone resources together. We were able to get uh, blue glass together with two whole shocker boxes which is way more than what we need some smooth stone that I was able to smelt up last night and then also some ice that we can use for water some magma blocks which we need a lot more of and uh, some melon blocks again we're gonna need a lot more of and some torches which we're gonna need a lot more of and also iron trap doors so let's go ahead and get started on all that I've just reactivated the whole melon farm and so therefore we should have some melon slices going into the system which that'll be down below so this is all the melon slices we have right now at the moment so we're gonna have the AFK here quite a bit and it takes nine stacks of melon slices to make one stack of melons which is not looking too good we have like maybe a half a stack of melons worth of melon slices here I literally just crafted all these torches and look at how many sticks I have left over <laughs> I even have more torches left over one good thing about all those sticks is I can go ahead and make these the filters for the item filters we're running a bit low on hoppers so we're gonna go ahead and make some of them one stack of hoppers coming right up and there we go what the hell What's wrong with you? What's your language? language? What just hit me? Get good. It's not me. It's not Irish. It's probably Roller. No. This has Irish written no. all over it. <laughs> no, it's genuinely not him. He's from it's the map. It's Roller? Yeah, it is. Jesus, <laughs> what the hell? Where'd you shoot me from? Dude, I was literally hiding, like, right fucking here. You owe me an apology, mister. I tried crouching and shot You crouched there and shot me? But I moved over to the side. I thought that whoever it was was shooting me from here. <laughs> that was really strange that Roller came up and was shooting me there. That was kind of, uh, startled me there. But nonetheless, moving on, we have one stack of observers and we need five. Quite a lot of observers. And each observer takes all of these items. <laughs> Running a bit low on cobblestone, we're going to need some of that. So, now we need to go ahead and mine a bunch of cobblestone, which... Oh, I wish I had that beacon back so we had an insta-mine. <laughs> I decided to come outside and check the cobble gen, and we have four stacks of cobblestone right there, so we're pretty good. Coming up to the nether and end items, it's not looking good for quartz. I don't see any quartz in here. There's a little bit right there, and a few pieces right there, but that's not enough. Well, out of that, we were able to get just a stack and a half. Not even a real stack and a half, either. Three pieces short. So, we're definitely going to have to go into the nether for some of that. Which, we need to go into the nether anyway for magma blocks. <laughs> I haven't even mined, like, ten blocks from my nether portal, and I already found quartz. That didn't take us very long. We already got ourselves almost three stacks of quartz, which is over what we need. Now, for the more dangerous side of things here in the nether, we need to actually go get some magma blocks, which I think I see some over here, if I'm not mistaken. There's some right there, and I believe that there is some right there. I knew I saw some, but this isn't very much. I'm wondering how 
how big this vein is. Well, this magma block vein was actually pretty decent in size. I was able to get quite a bit, and we're still getting some more. We've got over two stacks already. And uh, look at this whole area. We've got this whole area cleared out. This is all magma blocks. And this is just one vein. There's other veins that we can still mine, so I think we'll probably be good. Well, I do believe if we mine out these last few blocks here that we should have quite enough of uh, magma blocks here. We got 6, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we only needed 12 stacks. Oh my goodness, I'm kind of lost here in the nether. I don't remember how to get back. And I think, I think we gotta go this way, but there's a ghast over there shooting at me. <laughs> I'm literally in the same spot that I was in that last clip, right here by this wood block. And look at this. <laughs> the area that I needed to get to was right here, right next to that wood block. <laughs> Let's go home. Well, here we are back at the base where we have our magma blocks now, and with this a much uh, nether quartz, we should have enough to go ahead and craft our observers. <laughs> I was just coming over here to the crafting bench to go ahead and start crafting our observers, and look at my inventory. It literally holds all the items that we need to make four stacks of observers exactly. And yep, here we go. We got ourselves four stacks. But now it's time to go ahead and get some ice at this ice farm, but as you can see, this ice farm's not ready to use. So, I'm going to be grabbing my ice from the ocean, because it's got plenty of ice right here. And just look at this area of the map. It's so beautiful under the water. Look at that. All this coral, sunken ship over there. But, when we're done mining the ice, it's not collectible right away. It kind of falls down to the bottom, down by that squid down there. And, it's just hard to get. So, I wait till it floats all back to the top, so it's easy to get, just like this. Well, we got ourselves our first shulker box of ice, which is pretty nice, and over here is our leftovers. We got to get 140 of these shulker boxes, and the reason why is because after we craft them, we're going to divide that by 9, because it takes 9 ice to make 1 craft ice, and so that's uh, 9 stacks to make 1 stack of packed ice. I said craft ice, didn't I? <laughs> but nonetheless, I've got to do so much of this. I've been doing this for about 20 minutes. I thought it would be a cool idea to go ahead and bring Krusty over here and do a third-person time-lapse. <laughs> Real love, now I see you Yeah, you know I do To make it through the times we had I see it now, I see it now Real love, now I break through To show to you that I'm more good than I am bad I work it out, I work it out And I'll be somewhere that you need me And I'll be holding my breath Waiting for you
we got ourselves loads of ice, which is pretty nice, and we got ourselves uh, right about two shulker boxes filled with packed ice, which is nine times more dense than regular ice, so I've been able to get about 18 shulker boxes filled up with regular ice to make these two shulker boxes of packed ice. Also, while I was getting all this ice, I noticed that this shipwreck was over here, and this place is so nice. I mean, look at how cool this place is looking. But inside that shipwreck, I found this treasure map, and as you can see, I'm approaching that red X over here. It's not too far away. In fact, just right here on shore, it looks like I'm standing right here at the red X. I'm going to take a quick look around to make sure that there's nothing else that would be obvious for sunken treasure. But, uh, we down here? No? It's got to be somewhere down here. All right, well, I've come back to the X, and I'm just going to start digging right here, and hopefully we run into something good. I'm not sure exactly. Ooh, did I see something? That was just dirt. I wonder if it's going to be anywhere easy to get to. Kind of ruining the area, but I want to find that sunken treasure. All right, I'm going for it. I'm digging down here into the hard stuff. Let's see if we can find ourselves a buried treasure of some sort. I'm not sure if we are or if it's even still here, but I would imagine that it's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, I found it! There it is. It was in the water. It was in the water. I wonder what I've got here. We got a diamond. Potion regeneration, some TNT, and look at that, another heart of the sea. That's the second time I found one of those. And is this, this is chain, chain mail armor? I know some people that like this stuff. And because nobody really lives here, I'm just going to leave it like this. Oh my goodness, we've got loads of chain mail armor, although the durability on it's pretty ran down. We'll just go ahead and put that all in this chest. So, we've got ourselves the packed ice right here back at all of our materials, but the problem is that we've only got two soccer boxes of it. We need about five soccer boxes of that stuff. I'm just too burned out of actually getting ice and turning it into packed ice and storing it. It's just a lot of tedious work. And I tell you what, after mining all that ice, not only am I fatigued, but so are my tools. So, too bad they didn't have mending for the player, you know, to kind of like rejuvenate you. <laughs> Just grab a bunch of XP and you're ready to go. <laughs> well, here we are back at the base where we can start loading up some more materials that we're going to need for this mob farm. So, I was able to go ahead and craft up a few more things at the base, which we've got all the observers and everything all situated. We've got a lot of things that we've already got, but there's a small list now of the things that we don't have. And that's all the melon slices, which are up to the melon farm. We need uh, all the packed ice, which I just told you guys I'm kind of burned out on getting. Uh, we have all the shulker boxes that we're going to need for the shulker box loading stations, which I have these over here, and there's just too many that we're going to need. We're going to need about 90 shulker boxes for this farm, and so therefore I can usually use most of these, and so that'll be good. And uh, what else do we need? We need uh, sticky pistons. That's something else that we need. So we have all that stuff. We have melons, packed ice, shulkers that we still need, and then sticky pistons. But sticky pistons are something that we're extremely low on and that we can make right now. And every piston requires three wood, four cobble, one iron, one redstone, and then to make it a sticky piston requires a slime ball. So to craft up these sticky pistons, we're going to need five and a quarter stacks of wood. So that's four and a quarter stacks of wood. And it's going to take seven stacks of cobble, but we have no cobble. So that means we got to AFK a little bit. Well, I think we got enough cobblestone now. I, during the AFK session, I realized that we actually need 28 stacks of this stuff, so I brought a whole shulker box. So my plan right now is to go ahead and make a bunch of pistons, but I've got all this wood, and I need to go ahead and transfer it into, craft it into planks. So we need to go do that, and that's going to make way more items than I have room for, but I think... I think I should be able to just go ahead and spam all these out on the ground, and then as I pick them up, I'll be able to craft more pistons. Alright, we just finished that. Now we can go ahead and start crafting up some pistons, and that looks like it's going to go pretty well too. Except for the fact that I completely failed in realizing that I need seven stacks of these things, and I only had one stack of iron and one stack of redstone dust. Alright, I have now spammed all the items on the floor. Iron, redstone, wood, and everything, and now we should be able to go ahead and continuously craft all the pistons. I hope. I think we should be able to do that. Seven stacks of pistons all at once. I wonder if we can get it achieved that here. Let's see. How many stacks do we have so far? We've got six. Wow, we're going to do it. Seven stacks of pistons? Almost. What are we missing? Cobblestone? Cobblestone? There we go. We got ourselves seven stacks of pistons now. Now we need to turn them all into sticky pistons. And we got enough slime to do that, I'm pretty sure. 
There we go. So, all we have left on the list is packed ice and melons, which melons we're going to have to AFK at the base, so when I'm offline, I'll go ahead and just head on over to the base and just sit there. <laughs> but for now, we're going to go ahead and grind up the rest of the uh, packed ice. I'm pretty, uh, not burned out on it much anymore. I think I can go ahead and get most of this done. So, between now and next episode, I will try my best to get everything I can gathered up. But keep in mind, this is episode 29, so that means next episode is episode 30, which means that that's going to be the world tour. Tour. And this world has actually come quite a long way as everyone's getting ready for the world tour <laughs> right now. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But for now, I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if you guys did, smack that like button for me. Subscribe if you guys are new. Ring that notification bell. And share this video with all your friends. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I'm Broken Bones, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna go